Hey guys, Ty here, and I don't know if you know this, but there's a brand new enhancement to the communities feature in the YouTube mobile application. So if you want to follow along with me, grab your smartphone, because I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to turn it on, what it looks like, how to set up moderation controls, and then I'll just give you my take on whether I think it's worth using or not. So let's jump right in. We're going to go into the YouTube main app. Again, not the YouTube studio app, but the YouTube main app. And then on the bottom here, you'll see your little profile picture. Click on that and then you can click into view channel. Now here's where you can actually enable this feature if you have not yet done so. You'll click on the pencil icon. You'll be met with several options here. Look for the option that says my community and then simply toggle that on. Once you have that turned on, you should see this bar right here that says visit community. Now when you click on that, you'll be brought out of your channel page and into your community page. And this community page is really going to show you two things. It's going to show you all of your community posts that you've left for your subscribers. So any pictures, any videos that you've shared, maybe a poll, whatever it is that you share with your community normally. But it'll also start to include anytime somebody comes to your community and leaves a comment for you. So I'll show you what that looks like here as we scroll down. You'll see some of my posts, but then you'll start to see posts from subscribers too. So these are people that have proactively come into my community to test this feature out and they've left comments for me. And so what's great about this is you can give them a like, a dislike, you can you know comment back. And this gives all of your subscribers a common mini forum, if you will, where they can all aggregate, get to know each other and leave feedback for you, ask you questions, share things that are going on in their lives. So this is the first time YouTube has had this kind of feature. And previously, really the only way to interact with our viewers and subscribers is through the comments in our videos or maybe during live streams. This is now another vehicle for people to, you know, just get to know you and vice versa a little bit better. So this is what it looks like. Very straightforward, very simple and clean UI. Now, let me show you a couple of moderation controls that you might want to consider when you turn this on for your own channel. All you need to do is come to the top here where it says community settings. You click into that and there's really only two moderation controls to think about. The first is this viewer posts control and then this post moderation toggle. By default, I believe it's set to basic, which is what mine is. And this is going to give you the option of either um, not restricting any subscribers from posting anything, or you can make it so that every time someone leaves a comment, you actually get to review it. So if you want that, then you would just click on hold all, but otherwise basic will do YouTube's you know, standard due diligence in terms of flagging potentially inappropriate comments, and then you can review them yourself. The other option is how long someone must be subscribed to your channel before they can actually leave a comment on your community. So I think one day was the default, but I left mine to one week just because I don't want people randomly subscribing and then maybe leaving something that's not necessarily um, appropriate for my channel. So those are the two moderation controls. There's really not a whole lot to get confused by. Now, if you haven't yet posted anything to your community, one way to do that right here is just clicking into that box where it says what's on your mind. When you click in there, you'll, you'll get a text box where you can just type out your message. However, there are options at the bottom here for if you want to do a poll, you can actually do a photo as well. And that'll pull a picture right from your camera roll, which is kind of cool. You can do a quiz, which is kind of neat. And then there's this option right here, which kind of grayed out, but this is like essentially an AI rewrite feature. So if you're typing something out and you want the AI to come in there and look at it and maybe fine tune it, you can click on that as well. And then finally, there's these three little dots right here at the top. These are going to give you some more options. So if you want your post to be public, meaning that everyone can see it, public is the way to go. But otherwise, you can make posts exclusively for your channel members as well. And then finally, there's this schedule option. So if you want to maybe batch a few posts in advance, you can schedule those out, you know, a couple of days or a couple of weeks out. And then there's this expiration feature, which I haven't seen before. So I think this is exclusive to the mobile application. When you toggle that on, what this means is that that post will have a 24 hour life before it gets automatically deleted. So one thing that came to mind when I was thinking about how we could use this feature is imagine you are trying to sell a product and you want to do like a 24 hour flash sale. Maybe you have a promotional code that gives them a discount. You can push that message out to the community, maybe entice some people creating some urgency around that product, around that offer and get some sales. And then of course, once the 24 hours elapses, the sale goes away. 
So just kind of food for thought there. Maybe you can also do a 24-hour challenge where you encourage your subscribers to take action and do something and then respond to your post with their own reply, like their own picture. And then, you know, that'll validate whether they follow through on the challenge or not. So anyways, just some ideas there on how you might want to use that for yourself. Now, if you want to see what it looks like for one of your subscribers to actually go into your own community to post on your community, let me just give you a quick demo of what that would look like. I'm going to go into Rob the Maritimers community right here, and then we need to click into where it says view channel, and then we need to click into visit community. And this is what your your subscribers will need to do in order to post on your on your community, essentially. So from here, they can click what's on your mind, and then they can type their message. They are, in fact, limited to just text, or they can also upload a picture as well. So they can't actually initiate like a poll or a quiz on your own community. That's only for you to do. So it's a couple of clicks for them to get into the community, but that's really what it looks like to do so. Now you might be asking, well, Ty, I don't use the mobile app all that much. Is this feature actually gonna be worth it for me? That is a great question. Let me show you really quickly here how you can access some of this stuff from the desktop experience. So if you're in the YouTube studio in your web browser and you're in your channel dashboard, you can come down to community right here. And then you can click on this tab where it says viewer posts. And this will at least give you some visibility into the different posts that people are leaving on your community. So you can see who wrote it. You can see the date, the comments, the likes, that kind of thing. The downside though is from the desktop experience, you cannot respond to these different posts. And if you figured out a way to do that, let me know because I have it. I think the only way to respond is in the YouTube app itself, but at least you can see it here and that will give you a cue that you need to go into the app to respond. So that's one limitation or one drawback from this feature in the desktop experience. But ultimately, is this feature worth using? I think that's a great question and I think everyone's going to have a different answer. For me personally, no. I'm not in the YouTube app all that much, so I'm not I'm probably not going to encourage people to leave a lot of comments on my community. If people do that organically, amazing. And I'll come in and I'll interact and respond with them. But a lot of the community engagement that I do is done in my live streams. And it's also done off platform in school, which I use for my own community. I think these off platform solutions offer a much deeper and more meaningful way to engage with people and actually build relationships and get to know people. I don't see that really happening in the current version of this community's feature in the mobile app. The functionality is very light. It's very limited. It's siloed to the mobile application. And I think while it's a good start, it doesn't solve the larger need of people forming real connections. So that's just my humble take on it. But if you guys have a different opinion, let me know in the comments below if you have questions or if you have any unique or novel ways that you think you might use this feature. Definitely let me know below because I probably haven't thought of everything and I'd love to know how you're taking advantage of it. So hope this was helpful. And if you guys need anything else, just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have a great one and I'll talk to you soon.